Welcome. This is Documentation Office Hours. It's the 2nd of September in Asia. Uh, and let's get started. Topics I've got on the agenda include action items, Google Summer of Code. I wanted to show a demonstration of latest results. The upcoming release, September 7th of 2.361.1. And Hacktoberfest documentation contributions was a, a key one for me. Uh, are there other topics that others would like to add to the agenda? So let's see, we've previously done uh, pending pull requests to documentation, and in particular, the adopt modernizing a plugin progress report might be worth giving. Meg or Kristen, anything that you wanted to comment or the, any topics that you wanted to be sure were covered? Kristen, I assume you'll be interested to see this pipeline step stock generator one. Yeah. Yeah, it looked pretty good. I got uh, Tuesday's or yeah, our meeting that we have together. Um, Ian showed off like his code and it looked pretty good. So very good. excited well, to see and, that and it, everything was reduced. <laughs> well, we'll show it. We'll show it on the live site now. Yeah. There was there are still some bumps, but the bumps are minor compared to the improvements. So exactly. All right. Great. If nothing else, then let's go ahead and start through the list. So I still haven't archived the docs mailing list. That's pending. And I still owe a couple of blog posts. I'm not sure I'm going to bother with the Contributor Summit when I may just drop them both because I've got other blog posts I've got to do upcoming as well. Uh, we'll see. Any questions on the action items before I get into the interesting part? Okay, Google Summer of Code then. So Vihan Thora's work on the Pipeline Steps doc generator is now live on Jenkins.io. We had uh, during office hours Europe about 12 hours ago, uh, we had to work through an issue where the site generator was making a mistake and not doing a recursive unzip. And that's fixed now. And so let's look at how it, how it looks and feels. So pipeline steps reference is here. And if I were to search for checkout, finds it nice and quickly here. I click this one. Notice how quickly that page loaded. Yeah. Boom, it's there. Now, this is still presenting the same page. However, when I try to, and so when I click on, let's click on a less popular SCM like Harvest. Okay, there's, it shows it opens and closes. Genexus again, opens and closes. But when I click one of the really big monstrous ones, like Git SCM, it converts it to a hyperlink. And then I click the hyperlink and it opens it in a new tab. Now that opens it in a new tab is I think a little bit of a surprise. That was one I had missed during review. I think we want it to stay on the same page, but okay. notice that here it is and it's much, much faster. Likewise, let's see, what was the one that, that Vihan showed? Vihan showed a different one, but which showed the same exact behavior. It was that, hey, the pages load much faster and the system is much more responsive because of it. Now, Vihan did note that there was one page that surprised him in the, in the process. And I think he's still investigating that, but even with, and that page was just because it took it had an unexpected layout. Let's see if I can find his comment in the pull request. No, no, let's get this. We need pipeline steps doc generator. Okay, I think it was in this pull request that we merged just today. Not that one, not that one, this one. Okay. No, it's not there. 
Sorry, I, I don't see it here. There was a comment somewhere from Vihan on a, I, it was something from, I think it was from JSON. Maybe I can find it that way. Nope. No, that's not it. That's extension points. Sorry. So there was a pipeline steps. Maybe it was here from JSON. I, I apologize. I don't. Oh, yes. Build steps from JSON builder. This one, I think, surprised. Notice that it's taking quite a while to load. And notice the odd layout there on the top right hand corner. Yeah. So so that one that one isn't that one's imperfect. And now it came in and but still the page is not quite so long load time, still loading, still loading, still loading. I mean, is the and code in the page itself somewhat perverted? Is that the problem? I, I don't know. Well, so so what we see here is this thing has a very long list of, of classes right. that are it, and some of them may in fact be quite large. I, I don't know for sure, but I suspect some of them may be very large. So it's not clear to me what's going on that causes this page to behave like this. I'll make a note of it in our notes just to be sure we've got it. What is the, God, I'm trying to remember, the plugin that we got burned on for last year's um, She Codes Africa, the one that has all that stuff in it that I actually had thought was part of Jenkins itself, Jenkins Core, but it's actually a plugin. So let's let's go find Which that. One, That's God, a good I've one. Lost, I'm losing my knowledge here. That is the build step, I believe. So if we look at the pipeline steps reference and search for build, and then we look for the build step. Come on. Now I got to find it. Build is a real, real you could probably yeah. tell. Yeah, I think that's the next one he was looking to tackle, or just kind of like recommending some actions for that. So Even if build, it was something that began with a P, but no, I, I, well, okay. The one that, the one that I was accustomed to really was named build. And I thought it may have been even in the build steps. Build user. Build it's user. just the, the build, like the actual physical build and then it's a wrapper. It's that one, the really, really big one. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm okay. not seeing it here, right? There is there is one, but in this case, word-based search didn't give me what I, oh, oh, wait a sec, maybe if I do it like this, build colon, mm -hmm. then at least it chooses the words that end with the word build, PC build. I wonder if you do space build. There it is. Pipeline build. Pipeline yeah. build. Yeah. I knew it began with a P. I just didn't Boom. know. What there you go. No. Okay. I was like, <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. This is a huge one. And we've actually, we've been kind of talking about in the, um, our little meeting for summer of code about like what to potentially do here. <laughs> Cause it's just right. so, it's missing just so a lot much. of, it doesn't have great content. And that's what we ran into last year is we didn't have people to help the people get it, get better. You know, it's been there for so long, nobody's interested in it, it's just there. Well, the, I think the other problem is that this isn't, the problem isn't the build step plugin itself. The problem is every, it pulls in yeah. from tons and tons of different plugins. So every single one of those is most likely from a separate plugin. So it would be a dependency, like requiring to go into the plugins that you can get those things from. So like patch parameter value, node parameter value, right. those Git branches, like those are all coming from different plugins. So the changes to update that documentation has to be inside of those plugins. And it's just kind of- Just um, massive. And right. But those problems are there always. This still looks much better than the old way. Well, and, yeah. and notice, notice again, back to, 
note, notice the benefit of the load performance. That page is yeah. loaded. And if right. I show the show the page source, okay, the scroll bar size gives you a hint. It's not a huge page anymore. Whereas uh -huh. previously it was enormous. Yeah. So so the split that has been done is is a dramatic improvement. It didn't, however, magically make the content better. Right. 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 <laughs> But it is still an improvement. It's a oh, big improvement. absolutely. Yes, yeah. clearly. Yeah, so, so, but good, good indication that yes, it's live. Part of me still wants this jump to a separate page resolved. I'll, I'll log a, an issue for that just to invite uh, Vihan. Now, we're almost this at is the a surprise, end. But I kind of like the looks of it also. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Yeah, it it presents well. Now I'm not sure what's going to happen here. This will be an interesting one. The Git plugin is eventually going to replace this awful syntax with oh, a good. symbol. Yay. Yeah, it, after, <laughs> after only years, it's all good. I have a pending pull request, but I don't know what that will mean in terms of the sh the change of this documentation. I assume it will still be at this location, or it may exist in addition at that location. So th that's one that remains open because until okay. the until the new release of the Git plugin is delivered with that merged and set, we won't have anything to test with it. Sure. Right. But yeah, yeah, I he did an amazing job. Bian Bian has done an amazing job yeah. with the documentation and like the layout and like making things so much faster. It's it, it's yeah. been a great project and he's done phenomenal work so <laughs> very 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 like it's what he's done is, is so cool it's been so nice to have him focusing on that yeah. and the layout and coming up with new ideas for the or like you know looking at it with a fresh set of eyes and having some good ideas and then being able to work on it has been wonderful so mm -hmm. yes good Excellent. Thank you. Anything else on the Google Summer of Code projects? Oh, yeah. And um, I just had a conversation with um, John Mark yesterday, and he's proposing us to uh, to do a final round for presentations in September. It's oh, like late good. September. Yeah. Okay. So late September. Online meetup, Chris, was that yep. what you were saying? Yep, yep, that's it. That's a good thing, yeah. Great, excellent, thank you. So, and that's four projects. So congratulations to all of them. It, I assume that it looks like they're all four going to pass. I know yeah. the one I'm mentoring is doing great. Kristen's a mentor on the other. Chris, you're a mentor on one. So we've got yep. three of four projects represented here already. Okay. Congratulations. Thanks, Chris, for your work on it. Okay. So next topic is actually a Chris topic as well. So yeah. Chris is the release lead for Jenkins 2.361.1. We've got a pending or an arriving pull request for one more backport, right? Yep. And the change log, change log will need to be updated for that backport. Um, the change log, the upgrade guide, need uh, need need further review. That's a me. Though we did a, a good review earlier today with pre prior to Europe office hours. Any concerns? So this is next Wednesday that it releases. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one that requires Java 11. Yep. This is the result of multiple, multiple months of work from many different people to get us to this point. Congratulations to everyone. It, yeah. It's looking, looking quite good. Okay. All right. So next topic, that, anything else on 2.361.1? Chris, from you or from others?
Because I'm in that boarding account to give out anything else. Okay, great. Yep. Hacktoberfest then is coming. So uh, starts October 1, ends October 31. And one of the things that I think we might do effectively today is do a quick look to see at the documentation tasks that should be flagged as good first issues and note them so that they're properly labeled for Hacktoberfest. The challenge is I think some of the ones that we've already got labeled that way are wrong, that we've since shifted in a way that they're no longer good first issues. Are you willing to spend time today looking at them that way? Absolutely. Okay. I'm so, not leaving early today, so I'm here as long as you need me for a change. Oh, great. All right. Okay. So good first issues that we have right now include oh, okay. So these are plug-in. Okay, so this one. This one is a plugin documentation page. And so that's that's actually viable. So let's look at it. It says, hey, here's how you do the migration of this page to and the plugin is Liquibase Runner. Is it still an active plugin? It's it still exists. Its documentation on the on the wiki is actually has much more content than what's presented here. Huh. Yeah. yeah. But but now wait a sec. The oddity here is this is not telling us that its plugin documentation is managed from. The wiki, it looks like it might be getting documentation from GitHub because that's not wiki page documentation. Oh, okay. So the wiki page has documentation, but it's the plugin site is pulling from the readme, but no one bothered to bring in the readme in, in the best documentation into the readme. Right. Okay, so this bug report is a viable thing to do. Okay, so I'm willing to call that one a good first issue. This one, however, I'm not as sure of. Okay, the page proposed to migrate is the ping thread page, and it's already been, been redirected. Yeah, so I think this one's already done. Except I don't know what ping thread is, so I don't know why I'm entering, ending up on monitoring Jenkins. Well, and so let's, let's cheat and uh, copy that link address. We're going to cheat and bypass the redirect by inserting a few slashes. Nope, even that got redirected. Interesting. So here's what it's what it's documenting. Okay. So this was the content from the from the the wiki page. Okay. So that makes sense, but I don't. Well, I don't know. I'm wondering about leaving the ping thread page there, but but saying something that this is used for monitoring and go over here for the information. Well, but but when I click this ping thread page on the wiki, it always takes me to the monitoring page because ping the ping thread was used for monitoring. Right. Or what could it take me to the ping thread part of the page? Yeah, that part, the redirect could be updated to do that. That's That would be a another change yeah I mean, i'm just saying i'm looking for ping thread and i see a page that says monitoring mm -hmm. and i think something's gone screwy 
Well, and let's see if they've see I let's see if it's fixed it. Oh, interesting. So uh -huh. now I can see it. Yeah. That's funny. So yes, yeah, so there is some work to do because obviously if if the if if Google search can find it and you see it here, then the redirect process is not complete. Right. Okay, so there is some work to be done. Do you want to annotate? Is all of that mentioned in the issue or do you want to it's add It's not. I'm going to go ahead and annotate it now. So let's find that issue. Okay, so. Ah, got it. Okay. So one form of the page was modified with a redirect, but if I use the dash form of the page, uh -huh. that's not redirected. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get that updated. So this is pages. Page to migrate is now this one because the, the link that was there before, pay, and it's really page to redirect. It's no longer to migrate. And it should jump to this location. Okay. Yeah. And it doesn't need any terminology updates as far as I know. Let me double check just to be sure. No mention of master, no mention of slave, other than in Java source code references. Yeah. And those are not fixable yet. Okay, so okay. we don't need any mention of terminology updates. Oh. And the tu migration tutorial is... It really is just a, um, update the, update the redirect on the, on this file, on the, that redirect page. Wiki exporter no longer helps us. So fair enough? Yep. Good, good. Yep. All right. And it's redirect ping thread page from wiki to the doc site. Okay. So this one definitely is a good first issue. We've updated it to be accurate. Okay. Now back to more good first issues. Azure DevOps and Team Foundation Server. This is dead. The plugin is no longer distributed. Oh. Because there are known vulnerabilities and it had a, there are three known vulnerabilities and it had an issue where we were concerned that it was, had a non open source component in it. So this is a won't do. It comment why. Right, exactly. So this was this, oops. This plugin is uh, suspended from distribution due to say it better. The distribution of this plugin is suspended due to open security issues and a, an initial concern that it includes a component that is not open source. The source for the component was located, but no one has adopted the plugin. 
and uh, no one has resolved the security issues. So close won't do. Good. All right, thanks for your patience with that. You okay if we keep doing this? Yeah. Okay, next one, migrate the launching agent.jar from console page. So this one doesn't have any useful information on it. It just needs a redirect. I mean, there's, there's nothing helpful there, right? Title and one hyperlink and a couple of pictures. And this picture is unhelpful. This picture is likewise unhelpful. And then this one, so let's see. Okay, so this one, page to redirect, is that page. And redirect destination So this one, and then the using agents page or managing nodes, I think was the word that we used. Managing nodes here. Okay, this one describes what is the controller, what are the nodes, the agents, how do you create an agent, how do you launch an inbound agent, etc. Multiple videos. I think this is a good choice for the destination. Okay with everybody else? Okay, good. All right. And we don't need any additional. Okay. And I noted it here to Himanshu asking about that, that this just needs a redirect. Okay, next, migrate process tree killer. This one I'm going to take out of good first issue because after a conversation with Basil Crow, he noted that he's not persuaded we really want to be documenting this technique. And it's already in process, so it makes no sense to have it listed as a good first issue. Okay. Migrate unit test to developer docs. Again, this one is in process, I believe, because we've got, oh, no, no, it's not in process. Okay, the, oh, yeah, oh no, it is. Okay, here's the, the issue that's in process. Yes, okay, so it, this shouldn't be listed as a good first issue because it's already being worked on. And it's one of our long-term legacy things that need to be migrated or need to be finished. Okay. Okay, migrate out of memory errors page to diagnosing build failures. Again, this one has someone that's working on it and it's got a pull request, so it's not a good first issue either. Okay. Layout from multi-day events, dates overlap with time. Okay, so let's see if this one is in fact resolved. 
So DevOps World 2022 is a multi-day event. And yet it's not showing up with any overlap. But okay. it's also not showing more than one day. Yeah. So, well, let's take a look at, no, that doesn't help. Okay, what it used to say, example of the layout for the multi, for the UI UX hack fest. Oh, okay, notice, here, I see what he's saying. This on the far right-hand side, May 25 through May 29, that is definitely fixed here. As far as I can tell, DevOps World 2022 is a multi-day event and it's, well, maybe. All right, so needs, needs investigation, I'm not sure I'm ready to put a needs investigation as a good first issue. Everybody okay if I take this one out of the list? Yep. Okay. All right, now back to good first issues then. We've only got four in the list. Now this is your chance to suggest others that you think might be good first issue. So what about this one, for instance? So his suggestion is, well, this one is a change to an area of the site that I would call complicated enough not to put it on somebody who is a first time contributor. So I'm not ready to put that one as a first good first issue. This one might be. Because it's really saying, let's describe it. And it says, hey, these things are our environment variables. Though again, first time users may not know how to do that in pipeline, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm not seeing any obvious things here that would be good first time user things. I was muted and you were ignoring me. Oh, sorry, Meg. Go ahead. Speak I'm going up. back up to 5065. 5065. Sure, right here. I'm wondering yep. if Daniel put any, that could be a simple writing thing if he put some information in it. Ah, okay, good. So he partially addressed it with one pull request here. And my hunch was this one. Yeah, see, I, th I feel like that this is when Daniel will probably have to be the one who phrases it because he already did this phrasing. Right. And this improvement I thought was, was very good. It's what he's added is a why we announced, learn why we announced this link to, to these security advisories. So, hey, when we say there's no fix for it, learn why we tell you that. Right. Yeah, I know maybe sometimes, sometimes you put in need to say this and this and this, and it just, you need somebody to do the. Right, right. and in this case, I, I don't think we got that lightly. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, how about the installing Linux page has no, where did it just go? This one, installing Linux page has no upgrade guide instructions. This one, Sahitya Gupta asked if he could work on it. 
but that was back in April and yeah. never joined. And <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is take away the ownership there. Yeah. He's, he's not working on it. Not that, yeah. not that anybody else needs to. And I don't think this one is a good first issue because okay. you've got to know you've got to know enough to understand how to do these upgrades on various operating systems. Okay. Need a category for good second issues. <laughs> because, I mean, there's, there is stuff that somebody who knows a little bit could come in and do. Well, and, and those, if, if you, if knowing a little bit is enough, you could do that. We could just call those good first issues. I think, oh, oh, now here's one. Use the same navigation for dev docs as for the user handbook. I oh, think I this one, one is probably complicated, but wow, would it be a great thing thing to do? It's just this one is not a simple matter of changing some HTML, right? This one really you have to go understand how the site is generated, compare developer docs and user docs and make the change to the template files that would allow the one to act like the other. Right. Yeah. So for me, I felt like this was probably not good first issue. Any of you disagree and say, no, Mark, good, good first issues can be technically challenging. But well, what I'm Bob, we, actually there is an issue is that it seems like Hacktoberfest should have a place for people who want to come in and do something a little bit more. You maybe have, I mean, we don't have another way to flag, um, you know, something that's like, I don't know, can we add an Oktoberfest label? Uh, sure, absolutely. That's maybe that's a good choice. Is it's not yeah. particularly a good first issue, but we could certainly call it Oktoberfest. But I know on like on another project that shall remain nameless, but. We've got a couple of people who are what they they're not learning. What they want is to post on social media. And they're sitting there every good first issue that pops up, they're grabbing. Oh, okay. and after six months, I mean, some of them done 30 of good first issues. Uh -huh. And it's like, OK, you ought to be moving on now to other stuff. But there's no differentiation between a good first issue and something that requires somebody who's worked with the technology for 10 years. Ah, uh, right. See what I'm yes, valid. Well, so the Hacktoberfest yeah. label is there, and we can certainly put it there. Mm -hmm. Is it part, part? Is part of it because sometimes things that are good, like second issues, might require a little bit more work, and people don't know want to know or don't know how much time they have, so they mostly grab the first issues. Yeah, I Absolutely, think that's. But, but there's no way to find to find stuff here yeah. that says if I've got the time, because we yeah. also have the people coming in who's saying, I I want to do something other than little stuff. I want to do yeah. a big project that I can put on my resume. Right. Okay. And like, I'm thinking the person who's doing all this wonderful stuff with the steps generator could probably grab this one. And there are people like that who like working with these tools, mm -hmm. have that okay. sort of background, so. Right, yes. We can tell, I mean, we can tell them that these are, you know, now are they trying to earn points to get a free t-shirt or something? Right. So maybe so we have to point them that this is a three-pointer or something, I don't know. Yeah, it requires changes. <laughs> I'm gonna just make a note. It requires changes to the, to the templates that define the developer doc pages. Yeah so that they will be more like the user doc pages, user handbook pages. Yeah. Well, I know what the, but I'm also thinking some of the changes that your GSOCR has been doing would be like the left margin and stuff like that could be ported over here too. And that's a little easier, but. Yes, and I, I think that's part of this same same effort. Uh -huh. the, the question is, use what we've learned in the user handbook side and apply it on the developer developer documentation. Right. 
and and this is this is a, a, a good candidate, but it's it's not thirty minutes of work and you're done. Right? Can we mark it? You do this, you get your T-shirt. <laughs> no, <For> one PR. <laughs> They they require they require five PRs at least they always have actually but that done correctly should not be one PR right precisely that would that's a good point this I mean, would probably they, require they could do ten PRs and not be done with this issue this will likely require multiple pull requests right right multiple pull requests before it is fully resolved right yeah good. Good point. That also fits with, oh, we've got another one like that, which is not expressed as an issue here. That's a very good one, Meg. You have prompted a, a, an additional one. Let's look at, I'm gonna show you a closed pull request. And now I'm gonna create an issue to match this closed pull request. We've got to look back a little. There was a pull request that did a major rework of the look and feel. And the problem was it was so dramatic that um, it broke a number of places on the site. Ah. And so what the counter proposal from Daniel Beck was, hey, this is nice work, but we can't have the site broken. So let's split God, this thing. Some days. <laughs> he's wonderful, yes. <laughs> let's split this thing into pieces and, and then do smaller commits with the pieces. Right. So let's see if I can find it. I think it was this MEDI, M-E-D-M-E-H-D-I-B-R. Nope, nope, I was wrong. Okay, closed pull requests, just a minute. So it's closed. Spinnack. Okay, next page. Okay, it was before the Blue Ocean admonition. Maybe I should look for the word revert and it will give me a pointer to the thing that originally created it. There it is. Okay, this is the one. Uh -huh. And what's what the one that made the change was this one. Okay, so let's link to that one with a new issue. New issue. And what it is is apply navbar header footer and layout improvements. Okay. Create a series of incremental pull request of pull requests that apply the changes from this one as a series of small, intentional, specific hmm. steps towards site improvement. Okay. Right, so the idea is um, each change should be at atomic, self-contained and clearly explained. Should be clearly explained for its purpose and understood and its impact should be understood. 
The problem was okay. this, the, the, this pull request was just too big and changed too many things at one time. Okay. That seemed reasonable to everybody as a description? Yes. Yep. And that's a good first issue then, right? Yeah. Or, or Hacktoberfest, I don't know which. See, the, the challenge for me is then you've got to you've got to take it. Yeah, this one might be a very good Hacktoberfest topic, but it's it's not. It's something that someone will need to read the, that original pull request and extract things one at a time piecewise. Right. So I, I'm, it's it's more, much more involved than just write some HTML. Right. Write some JavaScript in this case, or some CSS. But for somebody who's looking for something to start with a little bit of knowledge and build their skills, it would be an excellent project. Yes, right, precisely. Good, very good, all right. Okay, so onward to next page. Back, back. Back, oh, I missed back. something. Almost at the bottom, uh -huh. I saw something. It can only read on um, the next 4724. Yes. So this one for me is not a, a good first issue because it really requires that you know how to do these steps and be able to describe them right now what the this this tutorial is just too weak in terms of what the requirements are for its preconditions. You must have installed enough plugins that you can see the right things, but it doesn't list the plugins you need. It then assumes Docker, but of course we never told you in advance that you need to install Docker and how you install it, et cetera. So it's but a this lot of is, that information is available elsewhere in the doc. It's just not in the tutorial. Yeah. It's it's not in this tutorial. That's correct. Yeah. I, so, so for, a, okay, maybe not good first edition. For a writer mm -hmm. who could, by research, go back in and read the actual pipeline documentation. You know, um, and again, because I would see this as not a single PR. Right. Okay. Got it. Um, so I don't want to review that PR. It would be one of those things that would take days yeah, off my life. This will need multiple pull requests. Using, reusing, reusing the existing Docker tutorial instructions for setup. Yeah, so so there's there's a lot to be done there. All they're working for here is a t-shirt and a bit of glory, right? That's correct. I'm wondering if it's good. One of the things that bugs me about GSOC, I mean, for very good reason, because there's real money involved, we can't ever do teams. And the idea to work together with a team to collaborate is one of the great joys and strengths of open source. Uh -huh. yeah. And I'm seeing this one and that other one is something where like two or three people who are interested in it could work on it together, could oh, review right. each other's PRs, could help each other learn. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's a possibility, but. Yeah, that, that's a team might choose to self-organize and, and take this on. I think I, given that this will require multiple pull requests, I think that's feasible. I just uh -huh. don't know who you would find to, to mentor that because you'd probably need somebody to say, hey, I'm willing to coach you as you do it. Right. Unless, but I think looking at that, like you said, there's a lot of improvements that, I mean, just as I say, here's Docker. There's nothing in there up front about Docker. Right. And there's other instructions about pipelines. There's videos with I think with some research and it would it would be a great learning experience to pick off individual pieces of it mm -hmm. and do a bunch of little PRs. Right. We don't, we don't have to put it, you know, could just put that as a we're and I don't think we want to get in the business of organizing these teams either. But when we're announcing Hacktoberfest, we could point out a couple of these that, you know, 
you might want to get a team for. Good. Yeah, good idea. And uh, so, okay, if we continue, Meg. Yeah, what's using latest stock search? Is that that's a that's a relatively special one that has it's still to be relevant. Done. Yeah. Oh, it's very much still relevant. Okay. Yeah, so I know see. there'd been improvement on the. Yeah. So search. what what's happened is the search results have the quality of the search results have decreased. And they've decreased because um, we're using an old, older crawler to do our content crawling. And Algolia ah. has upgraded, but we haven't made the changes to upgrade it. Okay. And so and this one is really one that it's probably got to be done by either Gavin Mogan or me, because I think it requires permissions on the Algolia doc search site. Unless you got somebody who's worked with Algolia elsewhere or something. Well, and even then they would have to have permissions to the Jenkins portion of the Algolia search site. True. Well, if somebody, I mean, it isn't that for heck they couldn't go in there and say, oh, I love working with Algolia. You, it's, this is not exclude. This is the, these are things to help them find stuff, but they can go through and pull out something else, right? And um, apply, they can apply, they can grab an issue that isn't marked for good first issue or Hacktoberfest. They, they certainly can. Absolutely. The challenge is in this case, they would have to be granted permissions to a portion of the Algolia site that they probably don't have currently. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'll shut up. Go on. No, oh, great. Ugh, that was not what I wanted. I want this. All right. So, ready to try page two? Sure. Okay, Meg, any of these that you've got assigned to you, and I think that's because you've got changes in progress for them, right? Oh, that that is... I think that's my big massive PR, right. which so it's it's in progress. Right, but I'm starting to wonder if that's ever going to happen. Well, but it's getting older and older and crustier and crustier. We certainly should not close those issues until we get it open, until we either get it resolved or give up hope. Right. Good. Yeah, this. Yeah, this one, this one, I'm actually prone just to say, we're not going to do this one. Oh, no. Okay. Gavin had a suggestion. We could update, say, hey, for most current information, see, see the pipeline sy syntax snippet generator. Yeah. Okay. So this one is probably a good first issue then. It's, that's not a hard thing to do. Right. This is preserved here for historical interest and for current. Right, exactly. I'm gonna put a thumbs up on that. Good. Okay. Broke links to anchors, is that? Uh, that one is a Daniel Beck report. And I don't know that. Forty-two Yeah, I don't think that this one is well suited. If you look at 4240, this one is from April of 2021. So, but it is bug fix. So yes, I guess it it could, it could certainly be a Hacktoberfest topic. Yeah. And it there will be a, a, a code change needed here somehow on, on the Ruby code that's being used. So Meg, you this one is. You want a Hacktoberfest link on it? I'm not ready to put a first good first issue on it. You know, Hacktoberfest, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Okay. OK, 
Okay, and we are three minutes away from my needing to stop so that I can get some sleep. All Any right. other topics before we call this one done? I want one minute after you stop the recording. Oh, okay, well, good. So I propose to stop the recording now then. I think we've made some good progress. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Stop the recording.